Hey there, Flower Mound. Okay, it's time for our first visual journal entry. Um, just to reiterate, I am working on my visual journal that will be focused on my experience of um, kind of everything that's happening right now, which means I'm gonna I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna color, I'm gonna rip, I'm gonna tear, I'm gonna collage, I'm gonna do lots of crazy stuff in my visual journal. Um, so. I'll show you the technique that I'm using for the day and then maybe you can take that technique and put it in yours or it might springboard some new ideas for you. Um, so I wanted to also say, if any of you have any kind of techniques or even artists you would like me to talk about or feature their artwork while we're doing these, I'm happy to hear your suggestions. Um, let's just make this a community art conversation. Um, and if there's a technique that you would like me to, to show or to, to do on here, email me, let me know. If I know how to do it, I'll do it. If I don't know how to do it, I will research and figure out how to do it. Um, I taught high school and middle school for a number of years. I've worked in art museums, in um, classes in art museums, so there's not a whole lot I haven't dipped, dipped my feet into. So, like I said, if I don't know how to do it, I'll find out how to do it, and then we'll do it together. Um, all right, my email address is k-r-i-s-s-i dot o-d-e-n at flower dash mound Dot com. So anything you want to let me know, any suggestions, any wishes, um, let me know and we'll get it done. All right, so now I'm going to flip the camera down so you can see what I'm doing uh, for my first uh, visual journal entry for my perspective on what's going on now. All right, so as you can see, I have my blank uh, visual journal just flattened out. For this particular project, I'm using just regular old acrylic paint. You can use anything. You can use any kind of paint you want. You could probably even use food coloring, mix up some jello and make it watery. Probably anything you want to use would work for this. And the device that I'm going to actually make the mark with is the toilet paper roll because that is definitely a sign of our times. Am I right? Total sign of the times. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get my colors. So I chose blue and orange and purple and yellow because these are complementary colors, which means they're right across from each other on the color wheel and they look really nice together. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just put a little yellow on there and you gotta do the sound effects or it's not quite the same. Some purple. Woo! Oh, there we go. A little bit of orange. And some blue. And I had to throw in some pink because my daughter would not approve if there was no pink. All right, so now I'm gonna take my toilet paper roll and I am going to actually roll up my sleeve so my sleeve doesn't become part of it, and I'm just gonna roll. This is gonna be a little messy, and that's all right, because art is messy. Woo! All right, you're gonna roll it. You're gonna see the colors mix up. So I am huge on different backgrounds for my visual journals. I like to play around a lot with backgrounds. Um, there's just so many different things you can do with backgrounds. If you want bright, bold backgrounds, then I would suggest um, maybe something not quite as bright and bold on top of it, or you could do like just plain black and white stripes. You could totally do black and white with this and then add some bold colors using something else on top of it. Like I said, squish it in there, get it in there. There are no rules to this. See, look at that. It's totally fine, it'll wash off. Don't be afraid to be messy. Okay, so there are a lot of different things you can do with this. You can, while it's wet, you could take a pin and scratch some designs. Um, 
you could take the edge of the toilet paper roll, dip it into some paint like this, get it all in there, and you could paint with the edges of your toilet paper rolls. Like I said, art is all about creating and expressing yourself. And when I'm all done with this, I bet no one will look at this and say, oh, you painted that with a toilet paper roll. It'll be my little secret. But, like I said, definitely a sign of the times, right? All right, so that is my spread for this page. And I'm done. So now, when this dries, I can collage on top of it, I could paint on top of it, I could do anything I want on top of it because there's no wrong way to do a visual journal. But this is my first page for my perspective on what's happening in our world right now. And as you can see, creative reuse because what else were you gonna do with this toilet paper roll other than make an amazing piece of artwork? Okay. So, like I said, play around with the colors. You can cut the edges of this, dip it in the paint and spread it out using like that. You can cut the toilet paper roll up, collage it onto your piece. Tons of different ways to go about this. Have fun. I already feel better because I made a piece of art today. I hope you enjoyed this. And email me if you have questions, if you have suggestions, and I will be back tomorrow with our next technique for our visual journal.